When developing for the Android platform, um, there are many types of resources we can separate from the code. Strings is one of them. The strings resources are defined within a separated XML file, strings.xml, we can find within the values folder within res. Here, each string is defined with a name and, of course, the string itself. Here in this code sample, I define the string text on button. This is the name and the string itself is press here. Now, in the code itself, calling get resources returns a resources object that represents all resources the application has. Calling get string on the resources object, passing over the ID of the specific string we are interested at, returns the string itself. Now, each and every string we define in this XML document, we can later find it within the R class. R class is an auto-generated class. The Eclipse ID updates and here for each one of the strings we can find a static int variable. Its name is the same name we gave the string itself. Its type is int so it just holds a numeric value and the, th those variables we can find them defined within the static inner class string so that we can easily access each one of these variables by placing r dot string dot the name of the string in this case text on button when calling get string, passing over the ID of the specific string resource, we get the, the string itself. Then we can take that string and place it uh, as the string of a specific button or do anything else we want. So let's see the outcome. This is the outcome. As you can see, we have the string. Press here the string. we define here on top of the button.